What's up, everybody? We're back at it again. Hope you've all been doing good. I know, right, Jebba? What a slacker, am I right? What's up, Fishing Boy Carter? We got... We got E.T. the Goat. We got Harley. Grim Reaper. Solitary, Cottage, Ganon, JB, m &Ps. We got Wild Bill, Scarlet. We got Blue Jay. We got Headhawk. We got Jace, Preston, Chaz. Parker, what's up, Parker? How's it going? Yo, what's up, Drake? Hey, joking, bro. Typical Rackoff spawn. Could you imagine, Levi? Please. That'd be incredible. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. What are you guys' predictions today? Do you think we'll get a rare? Do you think we'll get a diamond? Do you think we'll get a super rare? Do you think we'll get a great one? Do you think we'll get 10 diamonds? Do you think we'll get three rares? What do you guys think? What's up, Otis? Oh, nice, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, it seems to be a pretty popular gamer tag. I see that one quite a bit. Oh, I still have the uh, I still have the Argus on from the mule deer hunt. You think one rare, two diamonds? I could see that. A Mela gold and five diamonds. Ooh, I would not mind a nice Mela. That's a little three. Let's swap over to the Hyperion. Oh, it's been going good, Jebba. It has been good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dude. Hopefully it's been good for you as well. What's up, Rab? Three rares, 12 diamonds, one super. Ooh. Shooting high, eh? I guess you never know. I suppose part of it depends on how long we stream today. What's up, Not Furry Killer? How's it going? Hey, Dark Owl. Two of them right there. Nice. Got them both down. Let's go. Any tips on what DLC to buy? Just got Verhanga. Too scared to buy one because I didn't want it to change how I played. But any tips? Um, If you want a pack that won't change how you currently play... Um, gosh, what would I recommend? Probably the, what's it called again? The high power, high caliber or high power hunting pack. I forgot the name of it, but it's the, uh, it's the weapon pack that has the 338 bolt action, the 308 bolt action and the seven millimeter bolt action. Like. They're all bolt action rifles, so it's not going to drastically, like, flip up your gameplay. But they're really solid rifles that are a lot of fun to use. And then, of course, any map DLCs are always nice to get. Especially ones like Rev on Thule because of the massive variety of birds on there. And then ones like Emerald Coast because of the uniqueness of a lot of the species. That's probably what I would recommend if you're trying to, like, get some cool DLC that aren't going to, like, drastically shake up how you play. Hunter Power Pack. Okay, that's the one. That's the name. That's right. Hunter Power Pack. Nice, Scarlet. Love to see it. I think we got this, Drake. I think we got it, man. I think we'll make 200k soon. Ooh, that's a three. And that's a three. <laughs> Double threes. Let's go. So we got two threes in this zone. No! <laughs> Ten years later, we got him. <laughs> Crazy. Hard to say, fishing boy. Hard to say. You never quite know. Part of the fun of every stream. You never know what's going to happen. I hope so, Waylon. I'd love to get that typical already. Been way too long with no typical rack, man. Ooh, 266. That's a solid one. That is a solid basket rack. I'm currently on Leighton Lakes. 
What is the easiest great one? Ooh, second diamond. Let's go. Let's go. Two diamonds back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Good thing I took that second shot because the first one did not get it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. But I would say the easiest great one's probably Fallow Deer. If you're hunting them on Tiawaroa, at least. Where is that in Leighton? Right here. This is where I am currently at. This is the spot that I just left. What's up, Estevan? How's it going? Hope you're doing good. What's my weirdest diamond? I don't know. I'd have to dig through all my diamonds. I mean, I have a lot of diamonds. And I don't remember, like, half of them. So, I'd probably have to dig through everything in my lodge. Estevan, thank you for the 18 months as a member. Let's go, man. Welcome back. What maps did you play on? How about Layton, since I'm playing on Layton right now? Hey, Jacob, how's it going, man? Oh, that's our other buck right there. Little guy. Got them both, though. Got a white rock charm again. Is that rare? I believe it is, yeah. I, I could be wrong, but I think that sounds rare to me. <laughs> yeah, hunting gods. Yeah, wildness happening, man, I tell ya. Never know what to expect nowadays. Oh, nice, Harley, nice. Alright, let's see. Which ones do I need to pop? I think this guy. Yeah, that guy. Beautiful. For those that are curious, we are at 332 kills. Sadly, it was grounded. Oh no, that's the worst, man. Is the Super Rare Melamoose my favorite trophy? No, my favorite trophy is the uh, Super Rare Albino Max Weight Red Deer that I got off of Emerald. Like, the fact that it was Big Rack and Max Weight and Albino just made it so that's my favorite by far. Ah, didn't quite get him, man. Oh, and I need to unplug my mouse. I think it's done charging now. Get that cord out of my way. That's better. More freedom of movement. Love to see it. Oh, really, Archie? <laughs> oh, man. Have I got a great one, Blacktail? Uh, that is not a thing, sadly, Daniel. I wish it was. But yeah, sadly, that's not a thing. Couple big twos there. I'm doing good, Blue. I'm doing good. Hopefully, you're doing good as well. What score do I leave for Fallow? Um, I leave the racks that score like 150 or lower. Don't use the, the estimates to go off of that, though. Like, for example, you could have a buck that is an estimate of 150 to like 170 or whatever. And there would be, you know, a good chance it could even hit that lowest estimate of 150. So you really got to learn the racks. Because it's more based on the rack, not necessarily score estimates. Because it's tough to judge how much it's going to score unless you know the racks. If that makes sense. Oh, you didn't miss anything too crazy, Bryce. We got a couple of diamonds, but no rares, no great ones, no super rares. Fable Dilute Muley. Could you imagine? 
Could you imagine they had a great one mule deer and like you can get rares of it? That'd be so good. Yo, what's up, Jenna? How's it going? Bear grind is acting weird because my map is shut down, but I only have 13 bears in the day drink time and currently rotating on 11. Um, it's weird because my diamond rate went from 20 to 70. Uh, that could just be that you're on a dry streak, man. That could just be that you're on a dry streak. I've ran into some weird streaks like that before. Uh, just from experience, uh, Chetta, just from experience, like, I, I have shot, like, what? How many of them have I shot for Fallow? Let me look at my counter app real quick. So I've killed 11,000 Fallow Deer, so a lot of it was just, like, I've seen the racks so often that I kind of just, like, learned which ones to leave. How many super rares do I actually have? I believe 21 was what my last count was. 21, I believe. Holy Brookshire, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the super chat. And Nicole, thank you for becoming a member. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much. I have... <laughs> I am not 100% sure what you're talking about, Archie. <laughs> I'm confused. That might just be me, though. How many super rares do I have that were not from grinding? Uh, let me think. One, two... I think two or three. Two or three. But the thing is, like... One of them that wasn't from a grind, I still found it during a grind because it was a it was a duck. It was a duck that I spotted while I was doing a uh, a whitetail grind, my first ever whitetail grind actually. So like even one of my non-grind ones, I still found it while I was on a grind technically. Welcome back Parker, it's good to see you. Hope you're doing good. Mrs. Crow with the 40 months as a member. Holy crap. That is a long time to be a member. That is a long time to be a member. Holy. What animal do I have the most super rares of? Uh, definitely whitetail. I currently have seven super rare whitetail. Maybe. Oh, that could have been a diamond. I just realized. I might have more than seven, actually, because I don't know if I counted the non-grind one. Oh, there was one other that wasn't from a grind, technically. It was the albino diamond whitetail off of Revon Tutli that I got when I was trying to find all my whitetail zones. Okay, he wasn't a diamond. We're good. We're good. We're good. And that other one did not get hit well, so we're just going to move on. Let's see. We had that albino... I had the two piebald super rares off of Rancho back before I was using HM, which is probably my craziest thing ever. I got two in two days with no HM. One of the like craziest things I think I've ever done. Uh, then we've got the Mela one. We've got, I think, two more piebalds. And then I've got two more albinos. So yeah, I've got eight super rare whitetail. Um, but one of them was not from a grind. So, yeah, that's my species that I've got the most super rares of. Which makes sense. I do have 40,000 whitetail kills. So, it would make sense that I'd have the most super rare whitetail. Because I have the most kills on whitetail. Oh, gotcha, Archie. Gotcha. Yeah, I was confused, too. I was like, wait, what's going on, man? I was like, I, I have no clue what that means. <laughs> I thought it was just me just being oblivious, but I guess not. Ooh. Yeah, maybe, Hostetler. Maybe I could do that at some point. I could title the video something like, 
How I got eight super rare whitetail. And then it'll just be like a an HM guide for whitetail, like an updated one. And then also talking about my statistics and stuff, because I think the very important key detail is that that's after 40,000 kills. You know, speaking of super rare whitetail, it actually has been a while since we got our last one. Where is... There it is. Okay. Do you know what max score is on Moose? I can never remember it. I know that it's around like 302 or something like that. What's my most recent super? Uh, it's either the red deer, the albino red deer off of Emerald, or it's one of the white tail from Layton. I can't remember if I did the white tail seven day grind after my red deer grind or not. I'd have to go back and look at which one I did most recently. But it was one of those. Three forty-seven on the kills, man. Oh, nice, Chaz. Nice. Oh, gosh. Don't heat seek me, man. What's up, Perks KBN? How's it going? No, I've never seen a 304 on the current scoring system for Moose. Never seen anybody get a 304. Nice, nice, nice. Is there a great one, Elk? Sadly, no, there isn't. I wish there was, though. It'd be so cool if they added one. Oh, geez. Say, that's crazy. That's going to be a pretty high scoring moose. I'd say that's likely Big Rack, then, just based on that estimate. What's up, Kaylee? How's it going? Mr. Morgan, thank you for the membership upgrade to Super Crow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my dude. You absolute legend. There we go. Missed the first shot, but we got him on the second. Hey, Henry, how's it going? That's awesome, man. Congrats on your 50-50 rack moose. Those things are tough to get. Hey, Arium, guys, I'm doing good. I hope you are as well. It's about 2,850, 300 Magnum ammo. <laughs> hey, that's, uh, you know, typical, typical day of a grinder, man. <laughs> Which actually reminds me, I need to buy ammo as well. So, seizure warning for anybody that is prone to seizures from flashing lights because uh, this is about to get very flashy lighty. So three, two, one, there we go. Off to the races, purchasing all the ammo. No, JB, I don't. I only speak English. Uh, have you placed too many of them, Lucas? You can only place up to 16. And you have to place it in areas where it's not like super uh, covered in like random boulders and limbs and stuff, you know? It also needs to be flat ground for the most part, or flat-ish. Uh, how about fallow deer, furry killer? Because that's like, that's the best beginner grind, is Tiaboroa fallow. It's the easiest to understand, it's the easiest to get into. Like, uh, if you can do that grind, like, then it'll, it'll, it'll help prepare you for other grinds. All right, let's buy 300 ammo, too.
Welcome, uh, Midian. Hopefully that's how your name's pronounced, but welcome to the stream. Hey, hey, Rod. Oh yeah, ammo buying simulator is the best part of the game. It's my favorite part of Call of the Wild. Spam clicking ammo. Let's go. Uh, we're not sure, CJ. The only thing we know about the next great one is that Jaxie kind of gave a little hint in the last stream. He did the whole, I cannot confirm nor deny if we're getting a great one with the next map. Which we all know what that means. That means that we are. Anytime Jaxie says, I cannot confirm nor deny, that usually means that we're getting it. Pretty much, Morgan. Pretty much. Do you have any tips for pheasant hunting? Trying to get a diamond, because why not? Um, usually whenever I hunt pheasants, I just go to the areas where I normally see them and just run around until I find them. I don't have any, like... Oh, there goes my voice. I didn't have any, like, uh, strategy anytime I've hunted pheasants. Because, like, most of the time, I just run around where they are and shoot whatever I see. Don, thank you for uh, becoming a member. Enjoy the perks that come with that, the emotes, extra Discord channel, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all of the other cool stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, would they make a map that costs money for a great one? They have to eventually. Like, one of these days, they're going to have to branch out. Like, they can't stick to base game only stuff forever. Because after a while, like... People are going to get tired of them not picking the stuff that people have been asking for, like Mule Deer or Rocky Elk. Because, I mean, those aren't on base game maps. All right. I'm going to stop once I get to 4,000 ammo. I figure we might as well just stock up. I have RevUcon, SRP, Emerald, and Savannah. What map should I get next? Ooh... Um, let me think. You've got most of the really good ones, it sounds. I'd say Tiaboroa. That's the one map that you don't have on that list that I consider to be one of the more fun maps to go on. Like, it's a great map, whether you're grinding or just hunting around, because it's got a lot of cool species like the Sika Deer, the Chamois. Got some good stuff. And it's like the best fallow deer map in the game. It's also probably the best red deer map in the game. Like it is really, really good for them. Was dating was debating between that and Mississippi. Oh yeah, definitely do Tiaboroa then. 4K is crazy, I know, right? Usually I don't buy more than 2,000 just because my fingers get tired, but... Might as well go for it this time. Honestly, I've been really, like, strongly considering doing some Roosevelt Elk videos, uh, Archie. I think after I kind of get some trophies out of the Mule Deer grind, I might try to go for some Roosevelt Elk. The only problem is I don't want to take all my tents down. So I'd probably just have to hunt the lakes that don't require tents to get there. Or I could just do a multiplayer grind for Roosevelt Elk. Because that would actually be fun. That'd be fun. Sup, Colton? How's it going, man? You should do a whitetail grind on Mississippi. Oh, I don't know if I, I don't know if I could get through that one. Now, don't get me wrong. I have considered it before, but. At the end of the day, I decided I like my sanity more than I like grinding on Mississippi. I don't feel like I would have my sanity after uh, after doing a full whitetail grind on there, trying to get around the gators. Whew. It would be something else. It's a pretty map to try and get a great one on, though. And I really want to do it. I just don't know if I could survive it. <laughs> oh, he moved. No, 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 no. We're so lucky that we got the follow up. Yo, what's up, Disc? How's it going? 
And great one, Rosie, because Leighton is non-DLC. I would like a great, uh, a great one, Rosie, but I'd like a Rocky more, just because of how ridiculously huge you can make that. Come on, that's a big boy. He's behind a tree, I think, but oh, it actually connected. Nice. Uh, the new 300 is from the newest uh, weapon pack. The newest weapon pack has this 300 AR. Makes me think if he moved. Oh gosh, man. That was my scariest moment ever in Call of the Wild. The moment where I pulled that trigger and our super rare moose moved at the same time. That was the scariest moment I've ever had in Call of the Wild, by far. Like, I really thought I messed that thing up. And then we got lucky and we barely nicked the lung. Boom. Diamond number three of the day. Love to see it. The diamond rate's been solid today. It's been solid. How many zones do I grind? I think I grind like 10 zones, Clay Drew. You just want to have about like 20 main shooter bucks and then manage down the rest of them. As long as you have like 20, then that's enough to get the respawns to be relatively consistent. If you want to like be safe, you could try to get like 25 shooter bucks and then uh, manage down the rest. That would give you like a, a little bit of extra room to, ooh, big three. That, that would give you like a little extra room to like still have some bucks if you miss a few of the respawns. Like if a few respawns don't come back, you'd still have like a couple extras to go shoot if you needed to. Because yeah, the only problem I run into is occasionally not all of them will respawn. And so I think the more you have, the better chances you'll be able to keep the respawns consistent. I wouldn't do more than 25 though. How do I herd manage in the whitetail grind? Leave the level ones, kill the level twos and threes, or alternatively, you can stack the threes in your favorite zones to help get more ones faster. 261, let's go. Jeez, that's four diamonds already. Four diamonds already. Whitetail grind kind of popping off right now. What's the pack called? I believe it's the high caliber hunting pack or the high caliber weapon pack. I think, I think that's what it's called. What do I think about a salty great one? It'd be cool. I mean, if they do another great one that can be on Emerald, I would definitely like to see it be something like a, a Croc or a Bantang or potentially a Rusa. Rock Yale, great one would have his antlers bent all the way back so we could use them like a rocking chair. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, his... I could imagine the rack would be massive on a great one, Rocky Elk. Because they're already huge. Gosh, could you imagine like a giant non-typical Rocky Mountain Elk? Oh my gosh, that'd be sick. Uh, yeah, Colton, like whenever you're doing herd management, right? Whenever you've managed down a zone fully, you no longer need to hunt it. Though I do recommend paying attention to that zone for a couple runs just to make sure that there wasn't like a delayed respawn or something. Because that can sometimes get you. You can sometimes have a respawn pop up like five runs later. And then, you know, if you've already moved the tent, then next thing you know, you, you got to move it back and shoot it down again. So let it... Keep it there for a few runs just to make sure that you don't have a delayed respawn. And then once you're for certain that there's no 
more shootable ones there, then you can move it around and get it over to like a new spot. At least uh, that's how I go about it. Jelly Jam, thank you for the super chat, dude. Just spawned a Max Cream Bear yesterday. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Twins, man. Twins. That was my first ever Great One Bear was a Max Score Cream. My only ever Max Scoring Bear. Or only ever Max Scoring Great One in general, I should say. How come we can't travel to tents and some deer show up then... When you go to the other tent, they're running? Wait. Wait, that didn't make sense. I'm assuming one of those words and there's a typo. Oh, yes, oh my I'm assuming you meant can. How come you can travel to tents and some deer show up, then when you go to the other tent, they're running? Uh, usually it's based on how far away you are from the zone, like how, how separated the two zones are. Like, I've noticed that if you're too i can't remember if it's too close or too far it's one of those but if you're having them spook then i would recommend moving the tent to a different distance away uh like for example this zone over here i used to have this tent like over here if i'm not mistaken and every time i'd fast travel from one to the other the zone that i was on top of would run and i just moved the tent around until that didn't happen anymore Necron, thank you for the 13 months. Welcome back. I smell fabled. I mean, I'm not going to say no to that. <laughs> Please let there be fabled. What should I grind? Bear moose? I have Revontuli and SRP. Wait, Revontuli, SRP, and Yukon. Um, out of all those, I would say a Rev on Tuli moose grind would probably be the one that I would go with. I recounted my moose on Rev on Tuli Coast. I have a 141 bull moose. 31 are shootable bulls. Is that good herd management? Um, that sounds like it's pretty decent. Thank you for the super chat, dude, by the way. Thank you, Colin. That sounds like it's decent, at least. In fact, that's probably better than my HM. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's probably better than my HM. Although I don't know how many males are on Revon Tuli in total. Because, like, you know, even though you've counted 141, there could be some that you didn't see. But yeah, that sounds like it's at least decent HM. Got my great one, Black Bear, after 1,121 kills on Wednesday. It was the Skull Face Glacier, scored 24, 33. Let's go, Terrell. That's awesome. Oh, no, Christian. That sucks, dude. That is, like, the worst nightmare of a Call of the Wild player is getting a crazy trophy and then having the game crash before you can claim it. That's why whenever I get a great one to spawn, I always back up my save file. That way, if it crashes while I'm going to claim it, we can just get the backup and we'll be good to go. Cause that's one of those things where you can't really, you can't really control like when the game crashes. You never know when you're when you're gonna get screwed uh, out of a trophy. Gosh, I need to stop speaking so fast. I can't freaking speak properly today. It's one of those days, man. One of those days where I'm trying to talk too fast and messing up my words because of it. Man. Okay. That was good. We got him. Um, I believe on PS5 you have to use like a cloud service to back up your game. On PC you can just click copy on the save folder and then paste it to a different drive. I think it's more difficult if you're on console. That looks big. Uh, like I said, that looks big. That's a three. Let's take them down first before we go claim these. I can even thread the needle on that. We might have to get the three next run. He's in kind of like a hit. Is that a... No, it's not pie ball. That was the doe's belly. For a second, I thought it was a pie ball, but it's the belly of that doe. 
Could you imagine if that would have been a piebald? That would have been sick. Oh, you can use a drive on... Or a USB drive on PlayStation and back it up? Got you. Yeah, I don't, I don't play on PlayStation, so... Really wasn't sure how that worked. Nice, Mr. Eagle, nice. Where are you hunting? I only get ones and twos. You're getting twos and threes. Oh, it's not where I'm hunting that gives me twos and threes. It's how I'm hunting. I do herd management, so I get a lot more high levels. If you want more information on herd management, check out the guides on the channel. I've got a playlist that's dedicated to my herd management guides. But the essentially the way that it is is I have more than 70% of my population of male whitetail deer um, shot down to level ones. Like more than 70% of the whitetail males on my map are level ones. And that makes the remaining 30% respawn as twos and threes much more often. Essentially the game's way of making up for the lack of big males throughout the rest of the map. Ooh, four bucks here this time. Ooh, four shots, four kills. That's a clip. Boom. What time do I change to? I change it to 11 because at 11, most of them are in their zones. I would probably recommend that while you're like doing the actual searching for your zones though, Clay Drew, I would probably set it to 10 to give you an extra hour to kind of, you know, run up and down the river and stuff. And then uh, as things typically are, I would recommend you go through each area in different directions multiple times to really like find all your zones. What's up, Dis Daddy? What's up? Disc in the YouTube chat now. What's up, Lukey? How's it going? Sweet. No, Colton. We don't abuse glitches here. If there is a glitch for tense... I wouldn't tell it anyway because, like I said, we don't discuss glitches here. We don't use glitches here. Boom. Why don't I use the tripods? Uh, cause the, uh, the blinds are faster to get in and out of. I only use tripods if it's in an area where I need the extra elevation. We report glitches here, exactly. Now, are you actually, like, talking about, like, glitches, Colton? Or are you asking, like... Are you talking about, like, placement of tents so that the animals don't spook? Because that's not a glitch, if that's what you're wanting to know. A glitch would be, like, an unintentional thing that can be abused, you know? It would be like a bug, essentially. That would be a glitch, would be a bug. That's the best way to describe it. Or are you just talking about, like, how to use the tents to get better results? Is it okay if level 1s are spawning in my main zones for Whitetail? Uh, even after your herd managed, you will occasionally get level 1s, yeah. At that point, just shoot them, you know? Once they're in... If they spawn in your main zones, I always shoot them. I re-downloaded RKSA to get rid of lag, and all my mods got deinstalled. Guess what? Half my dinos were in the Cryopod mod. Oh, no! 
Oh, Kaylee, that's rough. That's rough right there. Yeah, that's rough. That's weird, though. It shouldn't... I don't think Survival Ascended, like, normally would do that, as far as I've seen, at least. That's rough. They need to they need to change that. Uninstalling the game should not uninstall the mods that you've got installed. Is a placement. Okay, yeah, that's not a glitch then. That's just like the way they've designed the game to work. Ah, didn't make it. But yeah, you can place your tents on top of the zones, and what it does is it just makes it so they don't render in because you're too close to them when you spawn in. And so you can place them to where obviously you have to have two zones that are within render distance of each other, and then just put a tent on each of them. Yeah, that's not a glitch. That's that's like an intentional thing that they do to keep the animals from popping in if your tents are too close to them. I think that's to make it so that, like, if you have a tent too close to a zone, you won't spawn in and immediately get trampled. I assume that's why they've got that in place, at least. How many diamonds do I have in the angler? I'll be honest, I have not been keeping count of them. I have not kept track. I used to. It looks like I stopped keeping track at 48, so I'm at at least 55 now, probably 60. Because so far I've got three diamonds on the brand new angler map. And then I got a bunch in like the previous weeks of Tackle Tuesday leading up to it. We got three bucks here this time. Crap, I hit the female. That's not good. <laughs> I'm glad that we didn't hit her vitally. Jeez. That's crazy, man. Hate to see it. She, she caught a little more speed right before I shot. Zoomed right into that bullet. Hey, Shay, how's it going? Uh, he's behind. Butt shot. Face shot. Oh, the only reason that I don't want to shoot the females is because sometimes they'll swap with your bucks or, like, take some of your bucks and create a new zone. It's really only, like, something you want to avoid if you're, like, done with your herd management and stuff. Because it, it just is annoying if a new zone gets created when you've already got a grind set up how you like it. Like, since I've already got this grind to the point where I want to keep it... The last thing I want to do is have to go search for a new zone right now, you know? Because sometimes when you shoot the females, they will just not respawn. And then after you've shot a few of them, they end up respawning and like mixing with a couple of your bucks and creating a new zone. Which is, yeah, it's just annoying to go search for a new zone when you're mid, like in the middle of a grind. Especially if you're... Like, pretty deep into HM and you've got everything set up how you like it. Then it's just a hassle to go look for a new one. Two thirty-one. How far do the animals have to be from the tent? Um, I believe it's like... 200 is technically it, but you got to leave a little room for like them moving around. I say like 220, 225 is how far you want to place a tent away from a zone. Ah, so close. He almost made it, man. This guy should for sure, though. 259, kind of a tight one for that rack. Yeah, no problem, fishing boy. Yeah, I always recommend leaving, like, two deer or more in a zone. Like, 
Never shoot a zone down to one animal. You know, try to avoid shooting the does if you can. That's what I recommend for whitetail grinding, you know. What's my dream super rare? Uh, Leucistic Diamond Rusadir. That would be my dream. Should do a grind on Parquet. I've considered doing a Red Deer grind over there. I've also considered doing a Water Buffalo grind. Definitely a possibility for the future. Oh, rip, Crotok. Feels bad, man. Hey, it happens, though. Got a great one, Whitetail. 489 into a grind. Let's go, dude. That's a nice quick grind. Three hundred AR. It's such a beast. I love it. Yeah, I think we've all had a situation where we had to shoot a, a trophy, like in a, in a way that was less ideal, for sure. I had one situation in multiplayer Rev on Thule. Uh Funny enough, it was on Mel's Gaming's map. Um, I found a red ptarmigan. And it bugged out and completely froze. Like, it was just refusing to fly. It was just sitting on the ground, refusing to fly. And so I ended up having to shoot it while it was grounded. Which was one of the saddest things I've had to do. Because, like, the red willow ptarmigan is very, very rare. Like, it's one of the tougher, rare birds to find. And having to shoot it while it was grounded was, like, the saddest thing ever. It was like, all, after all that work, chasing it down, it took me like two hours to find it after the initial uh, discovery of its track. And then I didn't even get it. Well, I got it, but I didn't get it in a way that scores. It had no score because I had to ground it. Ah, it was sad, man. But hey, it happens. You win some, you lose one, you know. You lose some, you know. You win some, you lose some. Oh, nice, Archie. Yeah, the angler is a very enjoyable, relaxing fishing game. If you have a high-ish level buck as a solo in the zone, should I leave it? Um, are you talking about, like, leaving it for your HM? Or are you talking about, like, stacking it to make it one of your like main shooter bucks. I don't recommend leaving high level bucks in any of your exterior zones. If it's not in a main zone, I would probably try to shoot it down to be a lower level. Now there is some exceptions. If it's a solo male and you just don't plan to hunt it anymore, you don't want to worry about it. Instead of trying to get it to go to like the, no the normal low levels you would want for that grind, just get it as close to it as possible. I did that with the uh, Tiawaroa Fallow Grind. I have a few bucks that are like mid-size level 3s instead of small level 3s and 2s. Uh, because they were solos and I didn't want to chase them around anymore. Just got them to a point where it was good enough. Uh, yeah, I play Fishing Planet. The thing about it is Fishing Planet is a very different game. Like, if you don't spend money buying DLC... The, the grinding process on Fishing Planet is ridiculously difficult. Like, you have to sink in tons of hours to make any progress. Which is why I don't really think there is a better game between Fishing Planet and the Angler. The Angler is a much more pick-up-and-play type experience where you can just get into it at any time you want. There's not really, like, a grind, per se, aside from, like, trying to get all the diamonds and unlocking the maps and missions and things like that. 
And then Fishing Planet is the better game if you want a more realistic experience. And you don't mind, like, spending hundreds of hours grinding levels and stuff. Because the thing is, like, Fishing Planet's a free-to-play game. So it's going to be grindy. Free-to-play games, they have to be grindy because they have to give you incentives to purchase DLC. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to continue their game. Because if you're a free-to-play game, you make no money unless you do DLC. And so then they have to put in, like, incentives to buy DLC or buy coins or something like that by making it very difficult to do. Like, I, I enjoy Fishing Planet. I've been enjoying it recently. But that's because I bought a DLC that gave me access to the best location in the entire game and gave me the tackle to be able to fish there. So I do think Fishing Planet's a great game if you've got a lot of time to grind or a little extra money to buy a DLC. Angler is a really good game if you want something more chill and relaxed that is more of a arcade style game that has open world multiplayer and stuff like that to hang out with your friends both have their pros and cons they definitely both have their pros and cons four hundred kills on the grind let's go Couple solid bucks there. Sup, Metal Man? Oh, gotcha, Georgie, gotcha. Yeah, if it's in a main zone, you could leave it. You could, like, stack it. What's the next seven-day grind going to be? I'm uh, not 100% sure yet. I have not decided on it. I'll probably do a poll for it. I think I'm going to have to stick to just one seven-day grind at a time. Last time I tried doing Whitetail and Bruce at the same time, it did not go well. I was, like, spreading myself too thin amongst the two, like, making it so I couldn't put uh, a good amount of time into either. So I ended up just having to not do the Rusa one and just do the Whitetail one. So I think from now on, we'll just choose one. Just one seven-day grind to do at a time. That way I can actually dedicate the time I need to it. Uh, yeah, Luke, when you, like, uh, uninstall the game and reinstall it, it doesn't get rid of your save files because they're saved in, like, a separate area. They're not saved in the same spot that your, uh, game files are. Seven-day fishing planet. I don't know if I'd do a seven-day grind on a fishing game. Because, like, there's a lot of work that goes into... Ooh, that's a low-scoring three. There's a lot of work that goes into a seven-day video. And there's just not a lot of people that watch the fishing content. So I don't think I could justify the amount of time that it would take to make that. I could maybe do like a seven day... Seven day grind in like another hunting game, maybe. But I think I'll just stick that... Keep that series to Call of the Wild. Oh, speaking of other hunting games, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the Project Hunt video today. I got something special for the next Project Hunt episode. I got my very first rare yes you heard me right there is rares in project hunt this next uh this next episode is going to be a banger not gonna lie i'm kind of impressed with uh project hunt uh one of the the developer that made it he actually commented on one of my videos uh saying thank you for covering the game and stuff and it sounds like, based on the way he worded his comment, it sounds like he is the only developer for Project Hunt. If that's the case, that's incredibly impressive that a solo dev is making a game like Project Hunt.
Because let's be honest, for a one-person project, they got a lot to it. It may not be like the Hunter Call of the Wild level of uh, gameplay or anything, but it's a fun game. And it's quite well put together for being a uh, solo dev project. Pretty impressive, man. Nice, Waylon. Shot a diamond potential Mela Shammy. Some random dude just came and picked up my trophy. Oh no. Yeah, that's the that's the rough thing about multiplayer. Like you really have to watch who's around you the whole time. Like whenever I get a trophy in multiplayer, I'm constantly checking everywhere around me. Yeah, it's fun, Metal Man. It's really fun. I do think. The $25 price tag might be a little steep for what you get out of it, but nonetheless, it's still a fun game. Oh no, I was zeroed wrong. The seven day of phobia grind. Oh man. That'd be tough because I have to play that game with people. I can't play it solo. So I'd have to get Nate and Caitlin and Johnny and them on every single day to do a seven day grind on that game. Uh, yes, yeah, Silas, we do have pets. Couple cats, a doggo. Two more down. 410 on the kill count. What's up, Kraken? Favorite animal of all time? Probably the, um... I mean, Red Deer and Rooster Deer are a couple of my favorite animals in the game, but I think Whitetail is my most... It's like the most fun to hunt for me. Now, nah, we're not really on a dry streak of diamonds. This is pretty normal. Like, you go through highs and lows in any grind. My gosh, Johnny. <laughs> How you doing, Johnny? What's the best gun? I mean, depending on what you're hunting, there's going to be a different answer for that. Because, you know, the best gun for each species is going to be different based on their class. My favorite gun's the 300, though. The 300 AR that I've been using. It's just so good. It's so good, man. Just a fantastic rifle. Yeah, Johnny, I've been bouncing back and forth between Twitch and uh Twitch and YouTube. Ooh, good three. Good three. Love to see it. Crazy Boys Gaming, thank you for the membership. Really appreciate it. Enjoy the perks that come with that, the emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Hope you're doing good. Really, I was thinking you got a dime like every 10 kills. Well, the thing is, that's just an average. And it's more like every 17 kills on this grind. But it's an average. So, like, I could go 50 kills with nothing and then get, like, five back-to-back -back diamonds in one run. And it would still average out to being, like, about every 15 to 17 kills. There we go. Boom. Another diamond. Ooh, that's giant. Ooh, that's a big boy. What do you guys think? 265 minimum. I'm going to say 274 on the score. I think that's going to be a 274. That's my prediction. 274. What do you guys think? We got a... Couple 273s in chat, a 269, 275, 270. Ooh, rip metal, man. Hate to see it, man. 276 being hopeful. If it's a 276, that'd be like the biggest that anybody's ever got. Do I have the right gun? Yep, right gun. Nice. 
Nice. We got him. He's going down. What's up, Teddy? Uh, if you're new to the game, I would recommend checking out some of my guides on YouTube. You can do the... Uh, I think it's the exclamation point YT command on Twitch. And it'll bring up my YouTube channel. I've got playlists that have like beginner guides and stuff on there. It'll for sure, for sure score 300. Oh man, could you imagine? Come on! Be a 275! Ah, oh, 272. I mean, that's still a big boy. 270, 237 is a solid deer. That's still a big deer. Quite large. Add that to the diamond count. Uh, it's just a custom made playlist from Epidemic Sound, uh, Jonas. I like went through hundreds of songs on there and just picked out the ones I liked the most. Uh, yeah, Colton, I still talk to Flinter and Lady. Oh. What is the worst gun in the game? Uh, that's very much a personal preference type of question. You're probably going to get a different answer from pretty much everybody. I would say... My personal least favorite gun in the game is probably the, uh, the 45... Uh, which one is the 45 Colt slash 410 handgun? Let me find it real quick. This one right here. The 410 slash 45 Colt. Like the 410 shells are very, very weak. They can barely kill the smallest birds in the game. And a lot of times like you'll hit one of them and it'll still take them a few seconds to die. Uh, the 45 Colt. While having good penetration, it really sucks in terms of kill time. It's basically like a 357. So I just, I've never liked that gun. Never liked the 410 slash 45 Colt. I used to hate the 223 more, but the 223 got a buff. So now it's at least like quite good on small game. And, like, passable on deer. Buying ammo until you get another diamond? Oh, man, Kraken. This is where I'm going to go on a dry streak, dude. Oh, gotcha, Kraken. Yeah, because they rounded out in the lodge. That's right. Oh, decent two there. I'm doing good uh, hunting with Zoe and David. I'm doing good. Hopefully you are as well. Give you a loadout for Fallow. Um, 308 AR, 300 AR, 22 AR. Boom, the AR loadout. Worst guns, the, the 300 AR for sure. Oh, definitely. Yeah, this thing, useless, totally. Yeah, I know I didn't tax the uh, last diamond. We currently have 1,255 whitetail diamonds. So I only tax the ones that are like 275s or like really wonky, unique diamonds. Or, of course, rares. I tax rares. And great ones, of course. Are we ever going to get the cold coffee emote? I don't drink coffee anymore, so probably not. It wouldn't be super, like, relevant 
Because I, I don't drink coffee. What animal is best for the 338? Uh, stuff like Cape Buffalo, Bantang, things like that. That's a lot of times. Yeah, that's what happens when you kill 40,350 whitetail with like 30,000 of those being with herd management. Yeah, it was a decent one, Chatty Face. It was a decent one. I was actually quite uh, surprised to see a, a few of you guys in, in the chat of that stream as well. Oh, true, Johnny. I didn't think of that. The 470 is kind of a useless gun when you compare it to the other stuff. That is true. Most expensive weighs five units, has no range, and covers one class. <laughs> yeah, true. For the 90k price tag, the 470 might be one of the worst guns in the game. Because the thing is, it's incredibly situational. And I already get the defense. I get the defense that people like to throw at it. You know, oh, it's meant to be a close range gun. Yes, but that doesn't mean that it's not less useful than other guns in the game. Please get a dime, my hands hurting. Dude, hey, you're the one that said that you were going to buy ammo until I got another diamond. I can't control when the diamonds pop, man. Doesn't mean you can still use the uh, 470 on an innocent ptarmigan. True. You can take that 470 right to a ptarmigan's face. That is true. I don't know, Necron. I was wondering that, too. <laughs> I use on a Red Deer a lot. Yeah, I primarily use, like, the 300 and 338 on Red Deer. Unless it's a diamond or a rare, then I'll use the uh, 308 or, like, something like that. Well, Kraken, we're not finding any diamonds. At this rate, you're going to have, like, 20,000 ammo. By the time I uh, by the time I find a diamond, I told you the second that you made a bet like that, you'd uh, <laughs> we'd end up having a dry streak. It's a fun map, Oliver. Like Layton's one of my favorite maps in the game. Like I think it's definitely like a top five map for me. Couple bucks there. You're 12k now? Oh gosh. Okay, I'll we can let's switch it up a little bit, all right? How about whenever I get a level 3, you can stop buying ammo. Oh, great one. Yes! 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 Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh, it's a 50/50 rack. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Oh my gosh. It's a 50-50. It's a 50-50 cluster drop time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. If I'm going to get a 50-50, that's the one that I'd probably want aside from like my my favorite, favorite combo, the typical Hinsko rack combo. But this is, this is still great. Wow. Let's freaking go, man. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Holy! Okay, I need to clip that and then send out a notif to the Discord to let them know that we've got a great one. I should probably also back up my uh, my save game. Holy! Holy crap. Yeah, let's back up our save file. That way we can hopefully avoid... Loss of trophies if we get a game crash. Holy crap, man. How many kills? 424. We almost hit it on the on the 420, but we got it at 424. Necron, thank you for the super chat. I smell a fabled. Yeah, you did say that at the beginning, didn't you? You did say that earlier. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go. 
person who was buying ammo doesn't ever have to do it again after something like that. I know, right? I'm sure Kraken's excited about that. <laughs> hey, Willie, how's it going? Look at all the W's in chat on Twitch. All right, everybody, let's get the, let's get the W's in chat on both YouTube and Twitch. Let's spam those W's for the great one. Spam those W's, man. All right, game save is almost done backing up. Dre Talk, what's up? Oh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Chat's going wild. All right. My save file is backed up. Now let's take this beast down, man. Wow, look at him. He's a wonky feller. That is a wonky feller right there. What gun do we take him with? I'm kind of thinking the 4570 handgun. Because last time we took down our other great one with the new 10 gauge. So I do kind of want to use the 4570 handgun. I know we've used it on a fallow, but we haven't used it on a whitetail. So where is it? Where did it go? There it is. Because this 4570 is a lot of fun to use. Do I have the ammo? No, it's not equipped already. Boom. This is going to be sick, man. I'm excited for this one. Uh, it's 11.29. We should probably reset the time. That way we get a little more time to stock up on him. Hunting gods, thank you for the 10 months, man. Let's go a year is creeping up on us. Dude, you're so close. You're so close. What is the best thing to grind on Emerald Coast? I would say probably... I mean, I'm a little biased on this because I love the Roosadier. But Roosadier are one of the best grinds on there. Bantang are also really, really good. Look at that beast. That is honestly like a crazy looking deer. That is a monstrosity of a deer. <laughs> that thing looks so crazy and cool. It looks so crazy and cool. Yes, he's very, very wonky. This is only the second 50-50 rack with this exact combo of two antlers that I've got with Whitetail. I've only had one that looks like this before. What rack is that? It's 50% the drop time rack and 50% the cluster rack. You love to see it, man. Hey, that's going to be a problem when stocking up. Eh, that's going to be a problem. My tent is in like the worst spot possible. Guess we'll see. 34 great one white tail and no typical rack. I know. I don't understand it. How do we not have a typical rack? Can't win them all, though. I hate that rack. I like it, kind of. It's definitely my least favorite 50-50 rack, I would say. Actually, no, no, no. It's definitely not. There is there is 50-50 racks that look worse. Actually, is there? No, this might actually be the worst looking 50-50 you can get. Because the, um, what's it called? The typical rack, short rack combo looks better, I think. The typical rack, Kinsko rack combo looks really good also. That's like the only 50-50 racks I ever see aside from this one. Look at him. What a beauty. you love to see it. Oh gosh, we're lagging. I took a screenshot and we lagged. Eh, a little far away to get a good screenshot of it. Definitely not the worst. No, no, no. I'm not saying it's the worst you can get. I'm saying of the three different 50-50 racks that I've seen be possible, this is my least favorite of the three different 50-50 racks. Like, I, I like the 50-50 uh, the racks that contain the typical rack more. Yeah, I've never seen a 50% big rack ever. I've never seen one that's half big rack, half drop time. Because if you guys didn't know, as far as I can tell, the way that it works with 50-50 racks is it can only be a 50-50 rack if it's like two antlers that are next to each other in size. So for example, the smallest is the short rack, then it goes typical rack, then kinsco rack, then cluster rack, then drop time rack, 
than Big Rack. So, like, you can only get... For example, like, you cannot get a short rack, big rack, 50-50 rack, because that's the smallest and the biggest rack. Like, if there was such thing as a big rack, great one whitetail that could be 50-50, it would have to be with the drop tine rack. And we've never seen that exist. And just like this cluster rack right here, it would be possible for there to be a cluster rack, kinsco rack combo, like, if it was something that did happen. I've never seen one though, but uh, if it could be 50-50, that would be like the only combo that it could do. Iron sights, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Average kills for getting a great one, Moose. Uh, it depends, obviously, on a lot of factors. I would say anywhere from 500 to 1500 is what things would average out to, but you do get a lot of sub-500 kill Moose grinds if you're doing like HM. Look at that beast. You can see those massive antlers through the through the window of the tent. He's just too thick. Yeah, Luff. <laughs> that's what that's what over 7,000 hours across all accounts will do to you. Or across all accounts will do to you. I've got like 60. What is it, like 65 or 6,600 hours on my main account? Let me look. 6,607 hours on my main Call of the Wild account. And then on my challenge accounts, I probably have a combined 700, maybe a combined 800. So yeah, you could say I've played this a little bit. Yes, yeah, Silas, that was such a rough bug. I'm so happy that they fixed that a while ago. The bug where your great one would turn into a diamond was the worst thing ever. Like, that was the most disappointing bug that ever hit Call of the Wild, I think. <laughs> yeah, Kraken. <laughs> for sure, man. It is an interesting one, for sure, Oliver. I'd say I like this 50-50 rack better than just like a normal blade rack. Slash Kinsko rack. Or a normal cluster rack. So this isn't by any means my favorite. But it's definitely not my least favorite either. What's the Kinsko rack? It's the blade rack. We call it the Kinsko rack because Kinsko was the first content creator to get video footage of one. And so people in my community have just called it the Kinsko rack. While like most people outside of the Scarecrow community call it the blade rack. Alright, time to turn off POIs. There we go. We have good wind. We have very good wind right here. He's right there. <laughs> He's right there. Okay. We need to get in a good spot and then turn off the HUD so I can get good footage of him up close. Let's turn off the tracks as well. There we go. I have lots of Leighton Lakes grinding stuff on my channel, Brody. Ah, oh, he's so pretty. I think I can get a little closer. This tree is looking like it'll probably hide me. We want to make sure that we're still hidden. <laughs> Do it, Kraken. Do it, brother. Oh, this doesn't hide me. This does. Eh, but it's kind of hard to see. Okay, he's right there. Okay, this tree, if it hides us, will give us a much clearer view. It hides us. Oh, okay. This is perfect. We're hidden. And he does not know that we're here. Wow. Look at him, man. That's such a pretty deer. 
That dude is stunning. Look at that monster. What's up, G-Man? I get off for five minutes. I know, right? And there it is. The Beast of Layton. I did say drop time. I was kind of right. True. You, you half guessed it. Yeah, he's a little wonky. You could say he's a little wonky. Oh, yeah. This is great intro footage. That's exactly what we're doing right here is getting some good intro footage. Going to do it slightly more zoomed out here. Uh, this way, I can do like a, a nice little slow zoom in for the intro. Yeah, just a tad wonky. Just a tad wonky. That's a really pretty zone for a great one. It definitely is. This is one of my favorite like lakes to get great ones at. Because it's really open and it does make for some really like easy stalking up to get close. And it is just in general a pretty area. Couple more screenshots. Wow. I'm blown away at the beauty of this great one right here. All right, let's turn the tracks back on. Zero to 50. Uh, double check to make sure this covers class four. Okay, it does. I'm sorry, big feller. This is the end. Ah, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's gorgeous. He landed in the brush though, so I can't really get a good picture of him on the ground. Let's just claim him. 411. There we go. 411. Point twenty on the score. What a crazy deer. What a crazy deer, man. Almost got trampled. Yeah, they, they were coming for me, man. They wanted me dead. That's beautiful. I've only had one of this combo before. We'll have to go to the lodge and actually check it out. Look at that. <laughs> it's going to be super, super uneven. Man, oh man. Number of tines, it's got... Well, that's not wrong. Or that's not correct. Oh, abnormal tines. That's, that's right. So it's got four normal typical tines and five typical tines. 11 abnormal tines and then 10 abnormal tines. Love to see it. That's a butte. That's a butte, man. All right, let's go into the lodge and actually check him out. Let's put him up in there. Thank you, Blue Jay. Appreciate that. Yeah, I have always found it strange that Great Ones give the same amount of XP and money as like normal deer. It, it is a little odd. It is very strange that it does that. I think it'd be cool if you got like 50K for a Great One or 100K for a Great One. That'd make it feel more special to people, you know? Oh, let's raise the Great One counter. Boom. We're at 74 now. Love to see it. Love to see it. Where's my Great One from here? What did I have there? Did I move it to a different area? Oh, wait. Little fallow number seven. Is this it? Yeah, that's the one that was supposed to be there. Uh, Where's the other 50-50 rack I have? I have another 50-50 of this type. There it is. This is my other 50-50. So the other one scored 409.7. Um, But this guy right in the middle, that's my favorite 50-50 rack I've ever got. If you guys have not seen this guy... It's half typical rack. 
half the Kinsko rack, but it's a super squished variation of the Kinsko rack. And then this guy is a short rack, typical rack, 50-50. Beautiful. And for those that are curious, this is not a real piebald whitetail. This used to be a common, and then EW pushed through an update that ruined it. Same thing happened to other creators like Clinton as well. And also some people in the community like, what's his face, LC, who had the only albino whitetail great one in the entire game, turned to a common with that update. It was sad. Now, where is this other spot that I took down a great one from? Because I saw that there's one more great one in my trophy manager, and I don't know which one it is. Let me look through here. So we have our new whitetail we need to place down. Okay, so it's a whitetail back here as well. So yeah, we have two whitetails to place somewhere. Where do I want to put them? I'm thinking back here if we've got space. Um... That's all great ones. I don't have space back here. All right. I guess we're at the point where we got to start moving them to the front now. We're running out of spots, man. Okay, we got a great one there and then a couple of normal bucks here. This is where we can put them. There we go. There's our new feller. Right here. Pretty. Absolutely beautiful. Love to see it. Oh, you made a second Great One Lodge Gaming Kiwi? I might have to at some point. Because, like, it's not just my Great One Lodge. I also put super rares in here. So it's getting quite full. I'd like to get one more bear for this spot right here. Mule deer now? We could shoot some mule deer. Yeah, we could shoot some mule deer. Let's do it. Let me just change the title. Eh. Screw it. I'm not going to change the title. Let's just hunt. Let's just shoot some muleys, man. Let's just shoot some muleys. Nah, G-Man. Nah, not today. I scheduled this as a hunter stream, so changing it to angler would annoy a lot of people. Can feel level five on this hunt? Maybe, man, maybe. Well, let me switch over to my mule deer counter real quick on me phone. All right, so we're 92 kills into it currently. Hmm, I could have swore we hit 100. Maybe I stopped when we got that five. I think I stopped when we got the five, didn't I? Got a couple threes there. I should probably uh, get my loadout back to normal. Gosh, it's bugging out. Our 300's not in there. There we go. Yeah, uh, Lil Pripper, we got a great one whitetail, so now we're hunting some mule deer. We got our great one whitetail to show up. So now we're going to hunt some muleys. Two more muleys down. Nah, we love the mule deer. The mule deer are awesome. They'd be more awesome if they had a great one, but they're still quite awesome as is. Mule deer are just a cool species. There's a three there. I should probably shoot that. 
Ooh, ouch. Ugh. Smoked him. Poor dude lost his spinal cord. Nothing there, so let's move over here and grab our level three. Later, blue. Uh, go for it, uh, Zoe and David. Ooh, nice, Johnny. Hope they make a great one, Mountain Lion. That would be cool. How long did it take to manage down the zones on Layton? Um, to get, like, decent herd management, it took probably, like, 100 hours. To get it, like, refined to the state that it's at now, it probably took an additional couple hundred hours. But honestly, like, time isn't really a good gauge of how long it took. I think kills is probably a better... A better way to gauge it because you know two people could both spend a hundred hours on a single grind but depending on how like uh, good someone is at grinding one person might get 10,000 kills while the other might have 5,000 so I would say if I were to make a guess on how many kills I had to do to get my HM to a really good state I'd say I probably spent like three to four thousand getting it initially managed down and then I probably spent a few more thousand refining it to get it to a point where I was popping. Actually, to be honest, it probably took like, now that I think of it, I didn't start getting a diamond every 15 to 20 kills until like 20,000 kills into the grind. But part of that was just because I didn't go out of my way to try and manage it down further. But I think during the time where I was trying to manage it down further, I probably spent an additional... 2,000, maybe one to 2,000 kills on it. So I'd say about 5,000 kills is probably how much it would take to get to the exact same level I have my whitetail. But obviously, there's RNG that goes into that. Not everybody's going to get lucky with getting the respawns to pop as level ones at the same speed. Like, some people just get unlucky with that. Nice, Gaming Kiwi. Maybe, Colton. I would like to get a super rare. We're pretty early in our HM for Mule Deer, though, so I doubt it'll happen anytime soon. Will they have a Great One Lion? Uh, they've never talked about a Great One Lion, but I'm hoping someday we'll get one. You know the general area for where pheasants would be on the map? Uh, I find a lot of them in this middle area, like... Right in this area. That's where I find most of mine. That's a two. Two, two. All right. Lots of twos. We're honestly making good progress with this grind. We're getting a lot of twos really quickly. It is definitely not worth switching blue. New England is probably the worst map for bears that you could possibly go on. Aside from maybe Layton. Because, like, New England, they can be on every single inch of that map. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. That's not the best ATV spawn I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, maybe we should move this back a little. Come on. Some of these spots you could totally place a tent. Why do they have to change that? You used to be able to place tents in so many more places, and then they just got rid of it. I'll never understand that. Never gonna understand why they uh, changed it. Ah, oh, finally. My gosh. My gosh, man. Who would have thought it'd be so difficult to place a tent? Uh, I don't know, fishing boy. I don't know. Taylin, thank you for the 11 months. Welcome back as a member on YouTube. Appreciate it. I should probably stop recording. I was still recording from that great one. Hey, that's what I'm saying, Johnny. What happened with that ATV? It just took a swim. Uh, ma'ams? My newest creation. 
This is the deer deer. I double deer you. Okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That's great. Uh, no angler stream tonight. Nope. Not an angler stream tonight. Just Hunter. We're getting our, uh, our taxes done tomorrow, so I don't really have time to do two streams today. Because I got to get, like, uh, everything prepared for it. It only happened in this game, pretty much. <laughs> That's a very Call of the Wild thing to have happen. Two deer meshing into one. Got a three there. Couple of them here. Nice. Yes, we did get a great one today. That's why we're hunting some mule deer now, because we got the great one already. And it was a beauty. It was a beautiful great one. Oh, yeah, Oliver. I mean, really, all you got to do to find mule deer is just set the time to like 16. That way it's in the middle of their drink time. And then just go to all of the lakes that are on the right half of the map. Like all these areas over here can have them. Like once you know the drink times for every single animal and you start like uh, setting the time for towards the last hour of their drink time, you'd be surprised at how many of an animal you'll find. That's a four. Not too bad. That's our 100th kill as well. ATV it is. On Rancho? Uh, for what, JC? No, no, no. Our great one was on Leighton, if that's what you're talking about. We got our great one on Layton, and it was not a typical, no. It was a 50-50 rack uh, drop tine and cluster. It was a nice buck. A really nice great one. We swapped over to Rancho to hunt some muleys because of getting that great one. We figured since we already got the great one, might as well shoot some uh, mule deer. Two sixty, not bad. This is the new area I've been hunting. It's got too much pressure, though. I can't go back there yet. It's got way too much pressure. All right, later, JC. <laughs> have I got another two-tone moose? Nope, I only have one two-tone moose. Some of the mule deer racks have always looked a little strange. Like that guy.
Uh, we don't know either of those yet, Harley. They have not announced what the next map is, and they have not announced when it'll happen. Um, I wasn't thinking that, Coda, but cool, my dude. Nah, I don't sing, Colton, unless it's like an impromptu freestyle. But usually it has to be in the moment. I don't really sing on command. There we go. And this next zone is where we got our level five. Please don't spam that wolf. Not sure, Fisher. Not sure. Decent three. I feel like I see another deer back there, but he's just not showing himself. Ah, missed that guy. We got two of them, though. What do you mean, fishing boy? I'm confused. I'm confused what you mean. And no, uh, we do like consider spamming the same question like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. That is spam. That is the different form of spam. What's up, 205? How's it going? What's my favorite shotgun to use? Probably the new 10 gauge semi. Wait, where's the other deer? Did I miss him somehow? Is Scarecrow blind, chat? I might be blind. Or did I grab both of them already? Oh, Hunter knows. Hunter knows where he is. Thank you, Hunter. See, Scarecrow's blind. Hunter's not. Hunter knows where to go. It was just further this way. Oh, no. <laughs> of course. Of course it would float. Would like some furs for the red deer? Like, it only has three variations. Yeah, more fur types for red deer would be cool. Especially for the great one red deer. Having only one fur type for them is rough. Alright, it's time to play my favorite game. Wait for the floater simulator. Oh, you're not blind. True! They were just uh, not there. He was just floating away. We're good. Uh, yes, Gene, I do. I think the current red deer fur is great. Yes, but there's only one of them. It's the variety that's lacking. It's a good fur. It's just there's nothing else to get. It's like once you've got one great one red deer, most people don't really see a reason to go back for another because the four racks are very, very similar. There's really only two of them that look super different from each other. And there's only one fur type. There's just not much replayability with red deer great one grinding. In comparison to all the other great ones, at least, I mean, even the whitetail that came before Red Deer has six different antler variations. And then you can also get 50-50 racks. Plus the fabled piebald, like, they just for some reason didn't add as much variety with Red Deer. I've always wondered why. Yeah, but blue, like for red deer, there's way less to get. That, that's the point I'm making. There's way less to get for them. 
There's four racks. Really, only two of them look super different from the others. And there's only one fur. So, like, once you've got, like, two or three red deer great ones, you don't really need any more. With, like, uh, moose, there's 24 varieties, like, 24 different combos. With fallow, there's 20 different combos. Like, there's so much variety in those. Even whitetail, there's six different racks plus three different 50-50s for nine different racks that you could possibly get if you count 50-50s. And then you've got Fabled Piebald. You've also got, like, a lot more variety in, uh, like, scores and, like, wonky-looking ones than you do with the red deer. I don't know why red deer antlers don't get as wonky. That's something I've always wondered as well. Like, why do certain species, like, have much more variety with true racks on, like, how wonky they get? Because, like, if you look at the whitetail, even, like, non-great one whitetail, they have so many, like, bendy, twisty ones. But then red deer, like, they're way less wonky. Way less variety with them. It's interesting. Yeah, true. Blacktail deer do have a massive amount of variety as well. Nice, Steelers dude. That's awesome. This zone's not here once again. Um, I don't even know what you did, Wolfie. I, I have no clue what you even did, man. Um, apology accepted, though, I guess. But I, I'm not even sure what you did. Can we do a croc hunt later? I probably won't be streaming for too much longer, so probably not. Is it rare to get a piebald and mellow croc in the same hour? Just got them along with a legendary the trolled. Uh, yeah, that's relatively rare. Two there, two there. Okay, so we did not get a respawn here. That's a tiny three. I can probably leave that. Ooh, we got to shoot that, though. That guy's a little larger. Uh, definitely late in Fishing Boy. That's my favorite whitetail map by a long shot. Lots of other people prefer Rev, but for me, there's just nothing that beats Leighton. Get out of here, little feller. That's right. Oh, no, Terrell, that's rough. Hey, it happens, man. It happens. What is the worst great one to get? What do you mean by worst? Do you mean like the toughest one to grind for? Do you mean worst looking? Like, what do you mean by worst? Nineteen. Uh, let's check this zone since we didn't last run. I think I could probably shoot like two of them from the blind and be fine.
Ooh, big boy four. Couple threes there. Ah. Got one, missed the other. We got two down, though. That is two on the ground. Two of them are down. Oh, no, Zildi. <laughs> uh, it seems about right. Angler's been having a lot of crashing problems recently. What's my least favorite whitetail great one rack? Least favorite whitetail great one rack is probably the blade rack slash kinsko rack, whatever you want to call it. It just doesn't have as much, I guess, like special features to it. It just looks like a cluster rack without the clusters to me. Uh, no, Pinky. This is the game on max graphics at 1440p. I just run the game on really high graphics settings. And I also crank up the digital vibrance in the NVIDIA settings. Digital vibrance just makes the game look more vibrant. It makes all your games look more vibrant. And it's built right into the uh, NVIDIA settings if you have an NVIDIA GPU. Jeez, Steelers, dude, that's crazy. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Oh, it did blue? Interesting. All right, well, I think we're actually going to go ahead and end the stream there. We've hit the two-hour mark pretty much. We got our great one. And to be honest, like, I think I just want to do Mule Deer off stream. I don't really like doing Mule Deer on stream because of the amount of walking. I just get bored easier when it's not doing, like, a, a great one grind. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace, peace, peace.